Super freak. Hi. This instructional video is about finding the shaded region of a given polygon. Now we talked about the area of a circle, the circumference of a circle, and also we talked about how to solve for the radius. Here we have a square and what appears to be a circle inside and they want to know what is the area of the shaded. Here's an example of what we're talking about. Here's a piece of paper. The dimensions are about 5 centimeters or 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So the total area of this square, or what appears to be a square, assuming it's 9 degrees on all corners, this is 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So the area is 50 millimeters times 50 millimeters because it's length times width. So it's actually 5 times 5 is 25 with two zeros. So it's millimeter squared. Okay, but here's the thing. What if we took that 22,500 millimeter square, took that paper, and we cut a circle out of it? So if I were to draw a circle, what are these pieces left over? What's the area of that? So let's go ahead and cut this up. Here it is. I get a feeling it's not going to look like a circle. There it is. That's a circle. It's a circle. Okay, here's a circle. So the question is then, what about those four corner pieces? What's the total area of these remaining pieces? That's what they're asking. What's the area of these four corner pieces? There it is. That's the premise of this or these three questions. So let's figure it out. So number one, we have a square. We have a circle. And what's given is a radius of 8 millimeters. So how do you find the area of a square? How about if I take this circle and suppose I could rotate it. I'm going to rotate it, how about this away? Clockwise, so that it goes this way, perfectly across. Can you see that then 8 millimeters is the same over here to that edge of the side of a square? That means half the distance, the midpoint from this edge to the midpoint over here is 8 millimeters. So the entire distance of this square then and the diameter of that circle is in fact double the 8. So it's 16 millimeters long. And since the circle, and by definition, a square has all equal sides, so it's like radius is equal in all directions of a circle, that means this is also 16 millimeters this way. So using that information, we could find the area of the square by saying length times width, or side squared. In this case, the area of a square is 8, I'm sorry, 16 millimeters times 16 millimeters and 16 times 16 is 256 millimeter squared areas are measured in squares so we know the area of a square now we need to find the area of a circle that's what we're keeping and this is what we're throwing away what do you think we should do once we find the circle what do we do with that circle and the area of a square to find what's remaining, what should we do with it, those two numbers? Did you say subtract? Good. So area of a circle is pi r squared. The pi is generally accepted as being numerical value of 3.14 rounded up. The r has already been given to you as 8 millimeters. And that radius is going to be squared. So area equals 3.14 times 8 millimeter times 8 millimeter is 64 millimeter squared. Since we have a big number, 
3.14 times 64 millimeters square. Use my calculator. 3.14 times 64 millimeters square is 200. 0.96 millimeter squared. So here's the area of a square, here's the area of a circle, and to find what is remaining, the difference of the two, to find out what's remaining, we're going to subtract those two numbers. So area of a square <laughs> minus area of the circle is going to equal 256 millimeter squared minus 200.96 millimeter squared. So 256 minus 200.96 gives me the difference of area remaining is equal to 55.04 millimeter squared and that is the final answer. Let me raise it up a little bit. There it is. Did you see that? Now why don't you just try to take that idea and see if you could find the shaded region of this and this. Go ahead. So number two is basically the same thing as number one except rather than cutting out a circle from a square, now we're cutting out a square from a circular paper. For example, remember this piece of paper? <laughs> It was so round. <laughs> now we are saying, let's go ahead and make a perfect square out of that, the maximum we can, and cut it out. So what are these pieces that we're throwing away? What's the area of that? That's what we're asking now. So first, we need to know the area of our original big circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. And over here, the radius is given to you as long as there's a center and there's a line that connects to the circumference of a circle, that's the radius. And it's given to you as 12 centimeters long. So we're gonna go area equals 3.14 times the radius which is 12 centimeters. And we're going to square that. So 3.14 times 12 squared is 144 centimeter squared is centimeter squared, centimeter times centimeter. And now we put the parentheses around the whole 144 centimeter square. We use our calculator and say 3.14 times 144 is equal to 452.16 centimeter squared. That's the area of the big circle. So that means a square should come out to be a smaller number because we're cutting the square out of the big one. So now area of the square inside a circle is length times width. Now this one is given to you. Length is 10.5 centimeters. And a square, by definition, has all same side equal sides. So that means if this is 10.5, then the width is also 10.5. So let's do that. A equals 10.5 centimeters times the width is also then 10.5 centimeters. We multiply those two numbers. 10.5 squared, or let's say 10.5 times 10.5 again, is going to be 110110.25 centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared. Okay, that's nothing. Here's a disclaimer. These are not proportionally correct. <laughs> it's not to scale. Just to give you an idea of how this is solved. All right. And so, what do we do with these two numbers? We're going to subtract them. So, 452.16 minus the square is 110.25. That gives me the area that's being thrown away of 341.91 centimeter squared. That's a lot of wasted area, isn't it? How about that one? Okay, so how did this one turn out? Yeah, this time 
Instead of cutting out a square from a circular paper, we're cutting out a circle from that big circular paper and throwing away the big portion of what's left over. So what is that shaded region area? So this time since we have a small circle and a big circle, we're going to find two areas of the circles. But it's a little tricky, Keep this. check this out. Area is pi r squared. That's the original big one now, okay? That's the original big one. So the area equals 3.14 times a radius. So what is the radius of the original big circle? Is it 2? Is it 4? Or, yeah, 6. From the center to the outside of a circumference, the entire radius of our original circle is 6 meters. 6 meters. And we're going to square that. So we got area equals 3.14 times 6 times 6 is 36. Meter times meter is meter squared. So now we're going to multiply 3.14 with 36. So 3.14 times 36. The original big circle, the entire thing, is 113.04 meters squared. Now we're going to cut out a small circle out of that. By the way, I got that from this little foam disc thing, the little toy that shoots foam disc. <laughs> so that's where I got it, okay? In case you were wondering, where'd you get that? So the area of the small circle now, pi r squared again, a equals 3.14, and now the circle, small circle radius is just that. 2 meters in radius, 2 meters, and we're going to square that. So A equals 3.14 times 2 times 2 is 4, meter times meter is meter squared. So the area equals 3.1, oh, I already did that, so 3.14 times 4 equals 12.56, 12.56 meter Square. That's the area of the small one. Big one? Big. Small one. Small. So what do you do with those two numbers to find out the chunk that we're throwing away? We're going to take the small one, I mean big one, and we're going to subtract from it the small one. So that's 113.04 minus the little circle that we're keeping. And what's remaining that is being thrown away is a whooping 100.48 meters squares worth of circles. Okay? There it is. Enjoy.